It's like hard to want to, like, of course you love it, and like once you get knocked down, you always want to get back up. But it kind of sucks getting knocked down like 40 times, you know what I mean? So, yeah. but you know, eventually, I mean, you just got to keep doing it. The only way you're going to like find out if anything good is going to come of it is if you, I don't know, one time you get up and you get lucky, you know. Thanks for coming. We're tried. The Little Green Army Men. The goal is really just hang out with like, I mean, my closest friends, make sure that we're all like creating art that is uh, sort of a release for us. Like I feel like it is kind of a release and it's, it's uh, therapeutic and at the very least, like if we can just create something that we're all very happy with, I think that's ultimately the goal. And anything that comes with that, you know, we're very open-minded and, and welcoming of that. Uh, well, we never played here before. I actually didn't know about this place other than pictures, uh, but it's a beautiful place, a lot of nice people. Um, it's always a challenge for me, at least, uh, to play outside because it's going to be loud, it's going to be messy. So keeping it together is always, you know, it's stressful, but I thought we did pretty good and we had fun. I like a lot of the art. A lot more scooters than I thought were going to be here. I yeah, because yeah. we rely scooter shop putting it yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, Neil from the XO's company. That's Neil? Yeah. back you kind of don't believe them most of the time but at least for the scene or the music scene or the art it actually feels like this is a place that can have something special totally i mean i think detroit right now is like extremely it's diverse crazy, yeah, uh, it feel culture diverse. um there's a bunch of different bands that are just killing it right now like you know i grew up in down river which is like it's right southwest of detroit and um i feel like the scene there was just a mess of just like extremely metal rock like rockabilly uh thrash and punk but very like aggressive like grimy punk and i think that's what i kind of grew up around so we just put out a four track demo these next four songs these next four songs are out with that demo Pretty interesting, like a uh, grab bag we have here. I feel like Noah's a little more punk. I was like an indie boy. Like, I like a lot of 90s shit. I like a lot of the early straight edge stuff. Um, right now, I'm really listening to Inclination a lot. I'm obsessed with them. I think they're the band of the year. Um, Gorilla Biscuits is huge for me, which I'm stoked because they played them a bunch tonight. But I usually don't know what I'm talking about if it's not like punk or hardcore. So it's like being with these guys, they make me a little bit smarter on that. I feel like just writing like stuff to a very high standard that we like that feels really good. If you want to write something that's like attention grabbing, so hence the I guess like you know the hardcore elements we're playing with all these heavier bands, uh, but we also wanted to write about I guess more emotional content and more I guess uh, self-loathing things. Alex, we're roommates at Wayne State, so we met freshman year of college and uh, started making music. I eventually turned into this, and then we uh, fold this guy in, and then that guy in. Yeah, and his band Harper, we played with them, and then they saw us play. This is pre Nick, and uh, I told Nate, I was like, we gotta get a guitar player like that. And then, like a month later, you know, we were like hanging out and writing together, so 
It worked out cool. Yeah. He bought me two beers, so I joined. That was the deal. <laughs> yeah. Sour monkeys. <laughs> yeah. We tried like a bunch of different other bands and projects prior to this one, and I don't think any of them felt completely right. You say it's right. We kind of had to find our way and figure out that this is the stuff that we wanted to write, and these are the shows that we wanted to play. make some, you know, some good connections and uh, play with some bands that we've been really wanting to play with. That's the current goal. Get out of the state, because every time we try to, like, get out of the state, it always, like, is extremely hard to do, and you're booking it all yourself and organizing everything yourself, so. Yeah. It's, like, hard to want to, like, of course you love it, and, like, once you get knocked down, you always want to get back up, but it kind of sucks getting knocked down, like, 40 times, you know what I mean, so. Yeah. But, you know, eventually, I mean, you just got to keep doing it. The only way you're going to, like, find out if anything good is going to come of it is if you... I don't know, one time you get up and you get you say it's me. Just kind of finished writing a double single, which is hopefully out in September. November. Yeah, like that. yeah, something like we'll that. We'll see how it happens. And then this next year, we're planning on kind of hunkering down, uh, playing an album, and then coming out for a couple shows. We'll see what happens. It's tough with school, you know, you can never really get to work around school. My parents would be very mad if, <laughs> if, I, if I flunked out to write I'm actually an album. supposed to be in class right now. <laughs> <laughs>